In order to do the continuity test, we're going to need to link in the consumer unit the line conductor under test and the CPC bar. So the earth bar is going to be linked and we're going to go to our furthest point on the radial circuit and test for continuity of CPC and include polarity. Okay, in this case, we're going to test at the switch as well. And of all the readings we get, we're going to record the highest one. Logically, in a radial circuit, that would be the furthest point from the consumer's unit. So remove the line conductor from the top of the breaker and link it to my earth bar where my CPC is connected. Okay. Instrument's still set to ohms. And we're going to go to our furthest lighting point on the circuit. And we're going to test between our earth terminal and our switching line conductor. In this case, we've got a reading of 0.25 ohms. We have a reading, therefore the circuit is on in a closed position. So that means the switch for this would be down. Down is on. To prove polarity, we need to turn it in the other position. Instrument now changes full scale deflection, goes to an off position, the switch is in the off position. We turn it back on, the circuit comes back on. By operating the switch for the load, we prove polarity, we prove it's switching in the line conductor. For a test carried out later, the switch must be left in the on position. The reading is 0. What we got now? 0.24. We need to also prove that the CPC gets to the switch itself. We do not only need to operate the switch, just prove it gets there. So I'll be linking between the line and CPC. This time, I get a reading of 0 0.26, 24, 26. Of all the readings I get, I record the highest one. I do not need to operate the switch down here. We're proving polarity at the light, and the light turns on and off, and not at the switch.